This is the world of microscopic macro photography, captured with the Lawa Aragon 10 to 50 times lens kit. Super microscopic macro photography may be the single most challenging and rewarding type of photography I've ever attempted. This highly sensitive form of photography makes it challenging not only to find your subject in focus, but also to keep your camera rig steady. I had to bust out a seasick patch. Now let's take a look at the lenses. Lawa provides a 50x, 35x, 20x, and 10x tube lens for magnification. With your main lens being a 9 aperture blade cylinder. On this lens, you have an aperture range of 0.5 to 0.15. And ideally, you will want to focus stack your photos since the focus plane is so narrow. But for today's video, I did not do that. The tube itself is really just like any other lens. Unscrewing the lens cap reveals your glass element. And unscrewing the back cap reveals where this lens will connect to your magnifying lenses. For today's video, I'm using the Canon R5, but it's important to know that the tube lenses come in a variety of different mounts depending on your system. To connect the magnifying tube with your main lens, you simply need to attach your element to the top of the magnifier and fasten them together. And just like that, you're good to go. So let's explore the different magnification levels. All of the following images are actually stills taken while I was filming. The 50 times magnification was definitely the most sensitive magnifying tube to use, as any minuscule movement caused my subject to bounce around in and out of focus, and it was easy to lose where my subject was even at. I was truly amazed at the level of detail I was able to get from the subject's eye to the base of its stinger. And I was even able to capture a droplet of what I believe is water coming out of the tip of its stinger. To the naked eye, this was completely invisible. 35 times magnification was just as inspiring. I felt a bit more flexibility with the focus plane and was able to get more of my subject in focus. Even though I would have liked to have used focus stacking since I was filming, this was a nice bonus. Capturing the hairs on my subject's legs to the creases in its wings, I was loving the process and challenge of microscopic macro photography. A few key takeaways that you need to know before picking up this set of lenses is that one, you really need to be in a controlled environment because truly any small movement will cause the camera to shake and you to have a hard time getting your subject in focus. And the second thing you need to know is that this requires a lot of light. Dealing with such low aperture values means that we need to pump as much light in as possible to make sure that your subject is properly illuminated. It really is hard to imagine how much of the world goes unseen by our eye. And even as I began shooting with less magnification, there was still a whole other world that I was able to witness. With the lowest level of magnification, I was able to make out more of what my subject actually was. And at every level of magnification, from 50 to 10 times, I was impressed and inspired. This final shot was taken with the Lawa 24mm probe lens. And my final takeaway is that all of these lenses combined make for an amazing microscopic macro photography experience.